Grrr, bah. It's profit. Pro Dega making paper till the sun goes down. Do you dig me? Yo, shout out to everybody off top who's been commenting, liking, subscribing to all the videos. You know what I'm saying? About to keep delivering that heat rock. But yo, today is Saturday. I ain't gonna waste too much time. I'm about to give y'all the best double XL freshman of all time. I'm telling you the people that put in the work, the people that got a name for themselves, the people that make music great since they came out, the people that either push the culture or were a huge influence on the culture. You feel me? First on the list, um, not in like a order though. Eh, you know what? I'll do an order. Number 10 on the list. YG. Bitch, who do you love? My dog, my man, my big bloody. Yo, I'm going to tell you off top. I understand a lot of people don't like YG. I'm a fan of some of his stuff and some of his stuff I don't like as much. But one thing I will say is since YG came out, YG's put in a lot of work and YG's also been a person that has been very influential on the culture. I'm not saying that he made, um, you know, like he made gang banging famous. That's not what I'm saying. But he is a person that, you know, um, bombed in, all that kind of stuff. He's the person that kind of coined terms that a lot of people use today, like what's Brack and stuff like that. I mean, I don't say that stuff, but I'm saying a lot of people in the culture say that. I'm not saying he even invented that, but I am saying he's the, the main culprit in the culture that has pushed that. So, that's why he got the number 10 spot. Number 9 on the list, I'm about to put Meek Mill. Same old attitude, but I'm on that new shit. They say they gonna ride me. See me now. Meek, I'm gonna tell you too. I'm not putting this list based on talent, who's better, who's not. I'm putting this list based on who I think impacted the culture the most and who still pushes things forward and stuff like that. It's not necessarily all lyrical ability, song-making ability, stuff like that, because, I mean, once you do that, bro, you start getting too many cross, you know, too many things that one person, this, I ain't got time for that. But, Meek Mill. Meek Mill, he got a couple classic milk mixtapes, um, delivered a couple good albums, you know what I'm saying? Been a person that's been relevant since he came out, even a little bit before that. Um, he had a name for himself in the battle rap community. Um, he had a name for himself, I guess, more so around, among the people who come, came up on, um, like, Smack and stuff like that that were just spitting in the street, stuff like that. A little one on ciphers. I ain't talking about that current, current battle rap, but, um... Meek Mill has definitely been known for quite a while now. Um, so that's why he got the number spot on my list. Number eight on the list, 21 Savage. I ain't no I beat the shit out when I like, up. 21 is a person that if I wanted, I could technically put higher. But um, I'm not going to just because I think some of the other people that are on the list have been in the game longer than him. But 21 is a person that came out and a lot of people thought that he wasn't going to be around for a long time. But, yo, 21 been doing his thing, bro. 21 been doing his thing, bro. Like, we not going to act like 21 hasn't came out and delivered some fire Dropped an album that did pretty well. On top of that, he got some huge features, bro. Some huge. I mean, he had Rockstar with Post Malone, and that was like a number one record, yo. Like, that's big for a homie, bro. That's big, and um, that's why to me, Twenty One got um, a spot on the list. Um, at number eight, number seven, I'm gonna put Hobson. Only option is tag. Like I don't fucking need you. I bottle up the pain, although the bottles fucking see. I'm not a Hobson fan at all. I do not find Hobson entertaining. I don't like his style of rap. He actually quite annoys me. But as far as this list goes and deniability, if I didn't put Hobson on here, I would definitely be 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 smoking smoking rock. You know what I'm saying? Smoking that. Because this is what I'm saying. Hobson is a person that since the beginning of time, like I'm gonna keep it a buck. I think I knew about Hobson before the double XL freshman. But Hobson's been around for a really long time. And as far as, like, that independent grind goes, like, he's one of the faces of that. Like, I'm not saying he invented it because I think Tech 9 is more of the person that I would give credit for that to. But, yo, like, 
Hobson is a huge artist. Like, he's literally one of the biggest artists on this list, and he does his independent thing. So, um, I mean, that's why he makes a number seven spot. Um, he could probably... I wouldn't put him higher just because, personally, I don't... I just don't fuck with something like that. But a lot of people do. There's a lot of fans that really like Hobson's music. Um, it's just not for me, but that's why he got... Um, the, the the number seven spot, number six on the list. I'm gonna give the J Cole. Students that's recruited higher league, thinking you do you and I do me. Crib is. I'm not a huge J Cole fan, bro. Like I think J Cole is cool. I think he's able to rap. I think J Cole make good songs, but he's done some stuff in the past and he said some stuff in the past that I really didn't like, and it rubbed me the wrong way about J Cole, man, and it made me made it hard for me to listen. And I don't know. So, I mean, he definitely des deserves a spot on this list because without a doubt, I mean, he's came out with multiple albums that have been beyond a success. Um, he's got a, what I consider a classic mixtape. Um, he's got a lot of mixtapes that a lot of people know, huge singles. Um, I mean, it, J. Cole speaks for itself, man. I don't have to explain too much about J. Cole. But top five, double XL freshman. You know what I'm saying? Um, with the number five spot, Wiz Khalifa, Wiz, bruh, you might not think Wiz is a lyricist, you might not think Wiz is this, you might not think Wiz is that, but I will say one thing, and I do not throw this word out there lightly, Wiz is a hip-hop legend, Wiz is a hip-hop legend, bruh, and I'm gonna tell you why, Wiz created a style uh, a whole aura around himself that was so acceptable. Like, Wiz is just, he bleeds positivity. He's a person that just has very, 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 very good um, just presence. Like, Wiz doesn't have to be there every day for you to remember Wiz. Excuse me. Like, he doesn't have to be in the media every day for you to remember who Wiz Khalifa is or what Wiz Khalifa does and stuff like that. Like, Wiz came out, Cushion Orange Juice, classic, bro. Black and Yellow, classic, bro. That's a classic, bro. You're not going to deny that. That's a straight classic, bro. That's a hip-hop class. That's something that still gets played in stadiums. That is somebody who is very, very, very impactful to the culture. That That's something that I can't deny. So, that's why he got the number five spot. Next on the list with the number four spot is a person that um, I believe deserves the number four spot. Um, I don't think that, again, I, I'm not saying he's the most lyrical, he puts the best music out, but um, since he came out, he's a person that has impacted and, and literally changed the way a lot of people make music, and a lot of people, you know, have bit his sound, and he, I don't know if he always gets the credit for it. But with the number four jump, it's Travis Scott, bro. Again on Monday, one more time. Spit the check on a weekend. The birds of the trap sing, Brian McKnight. Yo, Travis that dude, bro. Have you ever seen a Travis Scott show? If you haven't, look it up. Bro, that shit's fun. I don't care who you are. Yo, my son... As far as performing goes, he got that in the bag, and he make music that people rock to. It's replayable. It's got good replay value. That's what I like from an artist, and that's dope, man. Down to the top two, and these two people are, to me, are, one of them, I wouldn't say musically is one of the most influential people. He is one of the most positive, okay, I'm not even going to say that. Number two spot, yo, Chance the Rapper, come accept this award, my G. This is what I got for you. Come accept this award, my G, please. Because you, my friend, been doing your thing. Yo, Chance, I heard about Chance back when acid rap. Juice, well, yo, I got the juice, I got the juice. Yo, crazy. Chance been been somebody that I followed since the beginning, and I'm a huge Chance fan, bro. I like Chance. I think Chance makes that good, feel good music. Like he makes music that like gives you that, 
that that R and B good feel. Not saying it's that R and B, but you know, getting that good and make you feel good in your soul. You know what I'm saying? But um, yo, Chance the Rapper, bro, like he hasn't stopped. He's a person that like yo. Obama respects Chance. You know what I'm saying? You can't really, you can't deny a nigga who got the respect of Obama. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's Obama, bro. It's Obama, man. Like, I, 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 I rock with Chance. Chance is out, yo. If one more label try to stop me, there gonna be some dread niggas in my lobby. Woo, woo, Nick, yo. That's that heat, dog. Yo, <laughs> oh, Chance, that Nick. Yo, that's why Chance got number two, man. Chance, I believe, deserves it than a lot of these people because Chance, a person I feel like 10 years from now, he could put out an album and people still going to rock with it, bro. Regardless if, you know, they're the biggest fans of his music, what he does for his community and all that kind of stuff. Like, yo, Chance, a real nigga, bro. Facts. That's word up. And last but not least on the list, you know what I'm saying? Um, to me, the biggest, most successful double XL freshman, um, lyrically, um, he's got one of the last classic albums in hip hop, um, debatably another classic in hip hop, um, give it some time, give it some time, you know what I'm saying, give it some time, um, he's like, to me, one of the last superstar niggas, bro, but... Kendrick Lamar. I don't really have to explain to you why Kendrick Lamar is a goat. But Kendrick Lamar, you that nigga, dog. Keep doing what you're doing, son. That's why Kendrick Lamar get my number one spot in the most successful double XL freshman. Word up, because as far as him, who else is putting out work like him, bro? Who else is putting in that work? Who else I'm not saying Kendrick the most you know, in here every day, but bro, Kendrick changed hip hop. Kendrick changed hip hop. If you don't believe me, suck my dick. You know why? Because Kendrick changed hip hop, period. Control changed hip hop. He made niggas rap again. Kendrick came out and made people rap again. He said, yo, I'm the best. And if you don't if you don't believe that, you know what you got to do? You got to prove it. You got to get on this podium and you got to rap like you ready to kill. So Kendrick do that. And that's why he gets the number one spot. Two honorable mentions, people that didn't make the list, but I felt like um, did have one of them still has his time. The other one, I think, does his thing. Um, and I think I respect a lot. He's like a, a, a big influence to me. But um, Kevin Gates and Kodak Black, um, Kodak Black, for obvious reasons, I mean, you literally have heard about Kodak Black every day for the last three years, um, and Kevin Gates, bro, he makes really good music, I mean, I'm not gonna just sit up here and deny it, Kevin Gates knows what he's doing, he knows how to make good music, and that's why, you know, he get the honorable mention spot, you dig me, but it's profit, you know, pro dagger. You know what I'm saying? You know we making paper till the sun goes down. Do you think? You know what I'm saying? Yo. Make sure you like. Make sure you comment. Make sure you subscribe. Do all that. Drop a comment down below. Let me know who you think is the most successful XXL freshman. You heard? Bow.